You all ready for another one of my tales about the end of humanity? Well, it could take several decades or perhaps many thousands of years, but we can be sure of one thing. Sooner or later, the human race as we know it will no longer be here. Don't panic. It's just good old evolution that's doing us in. Humanity will go extinct. But who would care? We'll admit it, we've been fooling you. We've talked of distant stuff like the sun's death or the homecoming of Nemesis. We pretend that there is that there will still be people around in the distant future, just like today. Well, forget it. Whatever inhabits the planet, in several billion years, it won't be humans. The human race will have been replaced by, well, something else. It's easy to see why. There's plenty of evidence that we're still evolving. Europeans are getting taller. Northern Europeans, Northern Europeans are becoming more resistant to disease. And although it's controversial, there's some evidence getting smarter. Still, we're also de-evolving, getting worse at certain things. Our limbs have become feebler, our bodies are getting stiffer and less agile, our senses, and especially our nose, have deteriorated big time. There's evidence that our sperm is getting worse, our jaws and teeth have decayed over time. That's why we need constant dental care. That's because evolution is not about improving things but simply about adapting to the circumstances. And we're adapted to walking and thinking and working with our hands. The cost is that we become lousy tree swingers and bad monkeys. Try eating a banana using only your feet and you'll see what we mean. Where will this take us in another million years? Well, nobody knows. It depends on the circumstances. Perhaps our brains will continue to grow, giving us ridiculous, enormous heads. Perhaps our planet will one day be inhabited by the sentient brains sitting in a wheelchair. Who knows? But evolution could also demolish us. Say for some reason we're forced to live underground. This could, in theory, yield a human kind, yield a human kind with no eyes. This is what happened with certain species of cave-dwelling fish. And it could get worse. Suppose a deadly disease broke out. Experts agree on one thing, though. Our kind could transform a lot quicker than you think. We're already tinkering with the evolution of our species. For example, by healing the sick, and that's just the beginning. Roughly speaking, there are two trends here, technology and gene tinkering. Technology. Already we are stuffing up our bodies with all kinds of goodies, artificial limbs and organs, plastic heart valves, titanium joints, contact lenses, hearing aids, you name it, and no doubt will continue to replace body parts with high-tech gadgets. Already scientists are experimenting with, the brain, with brain implants to help us or even replace part of our brain. Futurologists expect that one day we'll upgrade our minds with chips that boost our brain power or even upload our minds to a computer or we would replace our vulnerable organs at birth, just to be sure. So how's that for evolution? In a few decades we may have got to the point where we are no longer humans but machines. As astronomer Seth Shostak likes to put it, you can improve horses by putting in a four-cylinder engine, but eventually you can do without the horse part. Or there's the genes. We could upgrade our DNA. At this very moment, we're entering an age of genetic modification. Already, we're upgrading the DNA of certain plants and animals, and we humans are next. We're about to improve our genetic code, just like you would upgrade an outdated piece of computer software. At first, this will lead to new cures for certain diseases. We will teach our DNA to fight off hereditary conditions, and in the long run, viral infections and even cancer. But it could also be possible to actually improve our bodies. Sportsmen will instruct their DNA to make more muscles, a feat already accomplished in animals. Others will tweak their DNA in order to lengthen their lives or become smarter. Ultimately, the sky is the limit. Want bigger brains, healthier organs, bigger penises, larger breasts. Just tell your DNA to make it so. And hey, think big. Why not grow yourself some wings? Enhance your vision. Make your body solar powered so you don't even need food. In principle, it's all possible. Just think of our bodies as computers, the DNA being its software. We're about to upload software from other species. Almost every trick of nature has ever programmed into DNA software in another species. Could be running right on our own human bodies. It's Mother Nature's freeware. So where will it take our species? Our guess would be to a point where humans 
are no longer the humans we see today. Scholars expect to call them things like newmans, transhumans, unihumans, astrians, and lots of other shiny sci-fi words. It would be the end of mankind, but with some luck, at least it would be a happy end.